Hey guys, I'm going to show you some um, books that I've gotten. Oh, it's probably been the last couple of weeks. Because I ordered a bunch of books from Amazon and then I got a bunch from Walmart. Um, because I usually get used books. You'll see a lot of used books because they're cheap. And I'm sorry, I'm burning up. It's hot today. Um, plus, even new, like, this book was 39 cents and it's brand new. So, I got some really good deals on stuff. Somebody was just talking about this book on their YouTube video and I don't even remember who it was. And I ordered it used off of Amazon and it came really, really quick. I mean, really quick. But it is Patricia Cornwell, Portrait of a Killer, Jack the Ripper Case Closed. And from the explanation that that person gave on their video, which I can't even remember who it was, said that Patricia Cornwell took the men who were suspects at that time, because Jack the Ripper was never found, she took the suspects at that time and took one man from all those suspects and kind of made a fictional story, I think is what she said. Um, about it. I love things to do with Jack the Ripper. I don't know why. I just tend to. Um, this does have pictures and stuff in it, though. I don't know what all... There's, like, letters and stuff from the looks of it. And I thought there was actual pictures of people. Yeah, there are actual pictures of people. So I am like really excited about reading this and I don't remember how much I paid for this. I mean, I know it's used. I mean, it's torn up a little bit, but it was like really cheap. So that was actually really good price for that, I thought. But this book right here, um, I got from like the bargain section of Amazon and it was 39 cents. Compromised by Heidi Ayarb. I don't know. <laughs> but um, it is a hardback. And it's pretty much about a young girl who, her dad is a con man, and um, I think he ends up in prison, and she ends up in the foster care system. So, I just thought it sounded interesting, especially since we're trying to adopt through the foster care system. So, and we have had calls, and we have told them that, yes, we'll take the kids, and something happens, and we don't end up with the kids. So, that just must be, those kids weren't meant for us. So, we're still waiting, but it's a waiting game. Um, the next is Mad Apple by Christina Meldrum. I heard about this book probably a month or two ago. Um, I can't even remember exactly what it's even about. Demons. It talks about demons. And the apple of knowledge. So I'm not really sure. Probably the idea of the Garden of Eden and the Tree of Knowledge of Good and Evil is what it sounds like. Um, I need to show this with the others so that can wait. The Swan Maiden by Heather Tomlinson. I remember hearing about this book on a couple of people's uh, videos. At least I think it was this, just the Swan Maiden, unless this is something else. I don't really know. I've never read it, so I thought it would be interesting to read. Um, I'm not even really truly sure exactly what it's about, but I do really like the cover of it. It's very pretty. I don't know where to put these. The next I just happened to come across, and it's Henry James, Daisy Miller. And I don't remember what this one is about, and it doesn't have anything on the back. It, it, I somehow came across it whenever I was, like, looking at different, um, classics on Amazon, and it sounded very interesting, but I don't remember what it's about now. That feels great. I just am burning up. It's so hot here today, and our air conditioning is just not keeping up. This is I Was Jane Austen's Best Friend by Cora Harrison. I just think things like this are interesting especially like things about Jane Austen and that type of thing which is so funny because I really haven't read too much <laughs> of Jane Austen but there's something about like manuscripts because there I'll show you one where it's like a lost manuscript of Jane Austen and 
that type of thing. But it looks like uh, diary entries. I don't know if the whole book is like that. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. And there's little sketches and stuff in it. So I hope this is going to be good. The next is Play Me. And it says, What Happens When a Player Gets Played? This is by Laura Ruby. I All I know is pretty much what it says down here. I think it's about a guy who's a player. And the girl, like, plays him. So the player gets played. And it was a bargain book. That was the only reason why I got it. And then I got Wanted. Oh, this is by Heidi A. Arb, too. Which was the author of that other book. Whatever it was. The foster care one. And I don't remember what this is about. Mm, I don't know. Look it up on Amazon and find it. And the next one is actually a book two in a series. I need to get the first one, and I don't remember what the first one is called. But it's called The Other Girl, which is a Midvale Academy novel by Sarah Miller. I remember seeing that it is a book, book number two in a series. Um, so I do, I meant to look up the first book just to see if it was Inside the Mind of Gideon Rayburn. Is that maybe the first book? And this is the second book, I think, maybe. I don't remember. But, all right. Now, I picked this up because I've heard so many people talk about it, and then I have seen bad reviews on it. I've seen good reviews on it. I am just fascinated by the description back here. That was the reason why I ended up deciding that I did want it. Um, 1Q84, and I don't know how to say this person's name. So, I did see that they had it available in the um, package where it had three books instead of just one big book, but it was like $4 more, and I just thought I'll just pick up the big book. So, but on the back it says it's a love story, it's a mystery, it's a fantasy, it's a novel of self-discovery, it's a dystopia. So, I don't know. I just found that fascinating so I'm really hoping that it's going to be good I'm hoping 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 and hoping because this in my opinion was expensive it's like I paid $14 on the back it says $16.95 but for me a $14 book is expensive considering I usually buy like used books and bar bargain books so that was expensive for me the next is Gina Showwater, The Darkest Night, which is the first book in a series, um, Lords of the Underworld. Somebody talked about this. It's been probably a month ago. I saw somebody talking about this, and so I just decided to go ahead and give it a try. I don't really know. I can't remember, I guess, exactly what this is, but I'm hoping it's good. I've heard good things about her, so... I'm hoping. And this next one I am so excited about. I've decided I've got to hurry up and finish some of the series that I have that I'm reading. Hurry up and finish those from the library and stop going to the library and start reading my own books because I've got tons of my own books now and I just I want to read them. And this is one that I absolutely want to get started on. And it's Who Done It, which is an anthology and it's conducted by John Siska. And then it says in you the reader. But pretty much what happens is the editor, I think, is murdered. And all of these people, like all of these people, suspects include all of these people right here. Like John Green, David Levithan, Libba Bray. Yeah. And then all of these people as well are suspects. And pretty much what it is, is it starts out explaining like what has happened. And then the rest of it is all of these authors, um write a little piece about, like, I don't know if it's their side of the story or to say that they didn't do it or whatever, and you, I guess you have to decide who did it. So I am just so excited about this. This came out um, this year, 2013, so it is a brand new book. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to read it. I think it's going to be really, really good. The next is The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. I was um, intrigued by this. And I don't know. I'm going to have to read it really slowly because it is a huge book, as you can see. 
but it is written in the old time, I can't remember what that is called, um, where they don't use certain letters. It was whatever the printing press had at that time. Um, or maybe that's not what this is. Maybe it's just that's how they spelled it in the English version of different things. Um, I know that I studied some of this in high school. Not this, but that kind of writing. And as soon as I picked this up and started reading it, I'm like, oh, no. And I do know some of the words are easy to figure out. But then some of them, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, like, until is spelled V-N-T-I-L-L. -L. Like, I can figure that one out. That one's easy. But there's other words in here that I just have no idea what they are. So this is probably going to be a really slow read for me because I'm going to have to try to figure out what the words are. So, and it is, like, written in verse, almost, and then it's got, you know, the numbers and all that, so, and this is already, yeah, that's going to break, like, really easily, because that's a brand new book. All right, Withering Heights, which is an Ellie Haskell mystery, Dorothy Cannell, Cannell, this is just a mystery book. Um, I love mysteries, and I have been reading so much young adult stuff that I just have neglected mysteries and stuff, and I just feel like I want to get back into them. So that is the reason why I picked this up. Obviously, Withering Heights. Wuthering Heights. Um, I'm hoping it'll be good. Because I don't know what number this is in this. It's not really a series. I don't know what you call it. But... It's not the first book. And this is the second book. And this, it's a Daisy Dorimple mystery, The Winter Garden Mystery by Carola Dunn. This is the second book in this line, I guess. I don't want to really call it a series because it's really not. Because any type of mystery books like this, you can read standalone. You don't have to read, like, the first book to know what's going on. But, um... I just think this is going to be very interesting because this is like flappers and all of that stuff. So, and you guys know I love that kind of stuff. So, I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to stop this and then start another video because I've got a bunch more books. So, I'll see you guys here in a minute.